What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Vivo Garage. Today is a special day I've been looking forward to for a while. I am looking to add to my family of jet skis and more importantly a trailer to put them on. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it before, more than likely not. I don't have a trailer for the goat ski. And if I want to get this thing on the water, I'm going to have to get a trailer, obviously, to do it. But what's more fun than having one jet ski, but two jet skis? So I have been searching through and throughout to try and find a double trailer with a jet ski attached to it in an affordable price range. Because... I really don't want to spend a lot of money on this stuff. I could dump thousands and thousands of dollars into it, but I'd rather not. So I am heading out right now to go look at a, it's a 96 Sea-Doo XP with an 800cc two-stroke engine with a double trailer with a, that has an open slot for the goat ski. So, if all goes well, I'll be bringing it home today, getting everything ready to go right now, so stay tuned. Let's see if we get one. Well, we picked it up. We got a new jet ski to go along with our goat ski, and we also got a double trailer. As I mentioned before, I didn't have a trailer for um, the goat ski. I bought it without one and obviously needed a trailer to get it to the water and such. So um, I've been searching to find a double trailer for a jet ski. And if I could get a jet ski attached to it that came with it, then I would pick that up. So luckily we got one. This one's functional, it's ready to go in the water. And I'll be getting that out here, um, hopefully in the next couple, next weekend or something like that. Uh, we're towards the middle end of May. Um, the goat ski is close. We are getting that um, done. Hopefully I'll have that in the water by um, the end of May. I wanted it by Memorial Day, but that's this upcoming weekend. It's not going to happen. I have some parts that are in order to come in, so those won't be here till the weekend anyway, and you now it's holding the engine getting installed. But uh, without further ado, here's our new uh, jet ski. It's a 1996 Sea-Doo XP 800. Um, yeah, check it out. So, as you can see, it is in phenomenal shape. The seat has been recovered. Uh, the guy I brought it from said that he, the person he got it from recovered it. A um, little bit more durable. I think it's going to withstand uh, some abuse there. And it's got a small couple of nicks and stuff in the seat. Nothing too major. Decals, I'll be ugly, are in good shape. These may come off, they may not, I'm not sure. This isn't a project ski for me by any means, but more or less just something to have available for, uh, you know, family, friends that want to go out and go jet skiing with me. Uh, you know, it's no fun being by yourself out there on the water, so what better yet have a nice little uh, toy to, to, uh, to ride with. Um, yeah, I see this maybe a year-long ski. Or not just depends on how well it's it's going uh, being a 96 I don't know the hours on it um, I don't even know if I can see that yeah well, you probably can yeah as you can see it's in really good shape um, nothing too crazy I'm interested to see what it's like um, but yeah no it starts right up we'll get it uh, we'll get it on the water here so with the trailer it does have a double bung uh, I do have to make some adjustments because obviously this ski here is a lot shorter than the goat ski. Goat ski being a three passenger. 
Uh, this one is about eight and a half feet long. The Kawasaki goat ski is 10 feet long. And the, um, the master thing it's gonna attach to at the front, sorry, I don't know the name offhand. Uh, it's gonna have to get attached to it. So my thought was is it would get aligned in with the bungs and then we would attach it somewhere along in here, have it go up and uh, connect on that. So overall the trailer's in great shape. As you can see, it's got some attachments to it already. The guy I bought it from used it more for a motorcycle trailer than um, a jet ski trailer. So we'll make the adjustments to the double bunks here and then we're gonna remove this uh, channel here for the motorcycle we'll put it aside because who knows we may use it down the road and then we'll take this one off here because we don't obviously need this one here um, you never know I'll put a storage unit or something up there like that but yeah look forward to this we'll get it going here soon so you can see in here the engine overall looks pretty good doesn't look like this thing spent any time on salt water or very little, which is fantastic. I'm not going to say mine won't get in salt water, but we'll make sure it gets cleaned up. Um, the hydro turf is all new within the last couple years. The original stuff is just riveted on and um, was causing it to leak actually. So um, underneath all the padding where the rivet holes were, previous owner patched them all up and put this stuff down looks really good I like it so there we have it another quick video here on the channel introducing this new project and it is like I mentioned water ready so the weather's gonna be nice the next couple of days I'm gonna get out on it I will shoot video of it on how it does and then you know let you guys know how it was on that and um, if you didn't see the other video with the status of the goat ski, link it above and you can check that out, see where it's sitting at it. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get out and enjoy this, this yellow sea dew. So until next time, bye.